Hello, it's time for another rant. Well, one of the, one of the two, one of two. You even count the Pluto thing as a rant? I mean, it started out as a review and then went on to a rant, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't really angry. I just rambled. But, uh, yes, this is more of a rant. This is a rant. That the lack of uh, supernatural horror in gaming now. I mean, you know, we, you know, we've got, we got, you know, a bit of horror. I mean, you know, horror in itself in gaming isn't doing that well. You know, we, we, we get the odd zombie game here and there, you know, and it's not really usually, it, you know, it isn't even usually scary at all. You know, uh, you know, I mean, Dead Space is probably scarier than people say it is, but it ain't, it's still a really terrifying, which is what we want. I mean, the scariest game I played recently was Minecraft 360 Edition, and that's probably because I'm arachnophobic. And, uh, the first night went badly. Oh, God. Anyway, um, yes. You know, quite like, uh, I, in particular, what I, what I really want out of Supernatural Horror games is... Haunted Houses. I mean, how long has it been since somebody did a really good Haunted House game? Hmm? Like, you really... Sorry. Shit, to the side of the green that you can't see the bubble wrap over my Xbox so it keeps the dust off it. It's not exactly fashionable, but... That's the job. It's mega hot today. And hot tonight. Why is it hot tonight? I don't know. Sounds not even fucking there. But, I, I am a scientist. But, uh, let's turn into Ramble again. Stay on target. Uh, the, you know, fucking, like, haunted house games. I mean, there's such potential there for a game. There's potential. Like, you know, you can, you know, you, you know that's, for one thing, it's claustrophobia. It's claustrophobia, you know, uh, you know, you you're stuck in this one location. You know, it's not like uh, you know multiple locations. You don't go around roaming. You know, whatever this malevolent force is, uh, it has either stuck you there or it has given you some reason not to leave. You know, uh, you, you know you're you're just sort of in this one location with something. Probably not nice. You know, it's not going. It's not exactly going to be fucking Casper, is it? Um. Yeah, and also supernatural forces aren't as easy to fight as zombies. I mean, zombies. You know, we all know them by now. We've all read our Max Brooks, or at least I hope we've all read our Max Brooks, because we need to know for the time of the invasion. You know, you, you shoot them in the head. That's that's simple, and you know the, the Arnie rule applies to most like video game enemies. But if it bleeds, you can kill it. You know, and well, ghosts obviously don't bleed often. You know, maybe they bleed sometimes, not often, but yeah. You know, I'm like, uh, like you know, uh, it's it's a you know, it's such a classical setup as well. You know, it's it's just something I miss. It's something I, you know, it's something. You know, one one of the horror one of the horror gaming experiences that I expect to be able to have here in 2012 is going through a haunted house. You know, and it being all high res graphics up and terrifying as hell. But no. No, at the center of all of this is probably, you know, current current gaming situation with it being controlled by like large companies like EA and Activision. I'm not usually the type to really hate on these companies. You know, they're, they're you know the companies they make money. It's what they do. You can't, you know, you know people are always complaining about you know, uh, you know how you should. Uh, you know, make money, you know, make games to make games, and all of this. And what the? 
shit falling off of my desk now. Paranormal activity shit up in here. Uh, or more likely, let's put it too close to the edge of the desk. Anyway, yeah. Uh, okay. I've completely lost my train of thought. I can't rewind this video mid video and see what I was talking about. That's a major feature that they need to improve on this, you know, so that people like me who ramble on and rant on can relocate, recover their train of thought. You know, go to a recycle bin, search for a train of thought, bring it back. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, okay, big companies, but yeah. In this occasion, you know, the big companies are genuinely to blame. You know, I mean, like in, like in situations with DRM and, you know, uh, Project Top Ten Dollar. You know, yeah, Project Top Ten Dollars. I'll talk about it another time, I think. You know, uh, but sometimes it's okay. It's, it depends on what you're offering, whether it's worth it. But, you know, he. It's still it's still the game company's fault if it's not worth it. But uh, in this occasion, like in that occasion, it is the general and the fault of these like big greedy companies. You know, they, you know, and you know, I can't, I find it hard to believe there haven't been developers, you know, uh, trying to make this stuff and pitching it to publishing companies. You know, I, I find it hard to believe that they, you know nobody's come up with the idea for a really good, you know, like supernatural horror game recently you know I, I find that hard to believe that nobody's pitched that and had it work on consoles as well you know I'll get back around to PC gaming in a bit but uh... It, you know I, I find it hard to believe that hasn't happened what I believe has happened is that e, you know EA or Activision or EDOS or whoever the hell they went to with it said well Supernatural horror isn't selling well at the moment, or supernatural horror is a risk. You know, and, you know, if somebody comes to them with a zombie game, and they're like, we may as well turn it in because it's a zombie game. It's probably going to make money anyway. People are always looking for zombie games. You know, I find that I'm always buying zombie games in search of the one that really takes advantage of like, you know, the the possibilities story-wise of a zombie outbreak. And really makes it scary, uh, you know. And I'm constantly disappointed. Apart from the Walking Dead game, I should do a review of that at some point because it is brilliant. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, and you know, you know, basically, the company has got to take a risk. I mean, it's got to take a risk on supernatural horror, you know, if they if they want to do it. Uh, and it's hard for big companies to take risks like that. I mean, personally, I don't see how they could. I don't see how a you know, as long as I kept the budget under control, one game amongst all their other franchises, sequels, remakes, basically guaranteed money spinners, you know. I can't see how one game among all that will really severely damage them to the point where they can't risk a single thing. You know, I mean, EA a few years back was risking stuff. EA was bringing out new uh, IPs and stuff like Mirror's Edge, Dead Space. They were kind of, you know, they weren't exactly, you know, unusual, but uh, they. You know they they were they were a little bit experimental. They were a little risky, and I mean Dead Space now. Dead Space is going to probably uh, I should imagine for at least a trilogy of games, at least one more game will become a pretty big money spinner for EA. You know, so it's not as if experimentation in gaming can you know can only go wrong. It's not as if it can only go horribly wrong and be a, be a massive epic failure you, you know uh, 
there is potential for you know so I, I, I expect I'm not the only person wishing for these kind of games and if somebody did that and got it right they'd make a lot of money they would I mean it's like it's like how nobody can see why Battlefront 3 was cancelled nobody can see why LucasArts suddenly went batshit psycho on Pandemic and try to sabotage the progress of the entire thing you know nobody can figure that out because fact is Battlefront 3 would have made the lots and that's what I'm saying here if somebody took this sort of project on and they did it well they would make them a shit ton of money they would make the publisher a shit ton of the publisher who was brave enough to do that a shit ton of fucking money uh... You know, you know, so one of the one basic one I'm saying, you know, take this, take take risks, you know, and uh, all the developers out there, you know, they all want them to make these sort of games. Of course, there is the PC market. Now, oh, this is the part where I get a load of flack. Well, at least I would have a load of flack if there was a load of people watching this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, there was like 30 views on the last video. I wonder how many of those got to the end of that ramble. But, um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? I need to stop doing this. I need to stop spacing out. The weather isn't helping. You can probably see I'm sweating a bit in the coastly gulping water. It's not helping at all. You know? And... And, and unfortunately, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fat fuck, so I can't go around like these, like you know, kind of slightly chavy people. You know, I can't go around town, you know, boasting my physique with my shirt off all the time. You know, yeah, yeah, I could lose weight. I could, I could become muscle bound and everything. But you know what that takes? That takes me liking exercise more than I like food. And, yeah. Or just, you know, maybe a few sacrifices and stuff. Fuck it, I don't want to. But, yeah. Back on to the topic at hand. PC gaming and horror. Supernatural horror. You know, I know there's a lot of supernatural horror on PC. Uh, like Amnesia. And, uh... Amnesia and uh, Amnesia and uh, other other games. I've heard about a few Half-Life free mods and stuff. Uh, not Half-Life free mods. They, you know, people are making mods of Half-Life free. And where did they get the Half-Life free engine? Oh God. You know, maybe it's based on the Half-Life. Source, source two in, but that would suck, because then they've been sitting there for three years. Well, what, what, not three years. It's been way longer than three years. With their goddamn thumbs up their asses. But anyway, uh, but yeah, We're making hats. That's what they do. Uh, you know. Got a few Half-Life 2 mods, you know, uh, some cool little indie horror games out there and stuff. But fact is, even on PCs, there isn't much horror. There isn't much horror, and there isn't much supernatural horror. You know, that's what we're missing. And god damn it, I want it on a console as well. I mean, this may be a little selfish, but. Quite, quite frankly, you know, there's very little horror on the PC, there's even less on the consoles. You know, where it, it's supply and demand, people, where it's not being given, you know, if you give, if you give, you know, like supernatural horror to a uh, market that's starved of it, completely starved of it, people will snap it up simply because they, they don't got jack shit else, you know. I mean, why do you think those indie game ripoffs of Minecraft did so well? Even I fell for that. You know, we we you know, we on the consoles are hearing about Minecraft, and you're like, Minecraft, 
Minecraft is so amazing. You know, and then something comes out on the indie games marketplace. It's kind of like Minecraft, but not Minecraft. Or it's kind of like Minecraft, but done shittily. You know, we snap it up because it's the best alternative we got. You know, but uh, yeah. You know, uh, what is it? uh, you know, if if somebody gave that sort of thing to the consoles. It would sell. It would sell a lot. There's no, you know, apart from technology limitations, and there's no need to push it to the full extent of a mega powerful PC to do this. Really, no uh, need. Uh, you, you know, apart from technological limitations, which isn't really an issue, you know. There's no reason to not release it on console, and if it is released on console, it'll make loads of money. But yeah, that's what I've got to say on the matter. That's what you know. Uh, now, games industry, go forth and follow my orders, because I'm a, I'm a guy on the internet. Damn it, I control you. I control you all. I am the master of puppets from my YouTube channel and my Tumblr and my forum accounts and maybe my posts on Facebook somehow. I control it!